Hey guys, this is a quick video. Uh, this is kind of like a first impressions, but I've already smelled it before this video, but I just, just smelled it. I had to make this. This is a Kenneth Cole Intensity. Um, I had it in my collection of samples and I didn't know what to wear today, so I thought, okay, I've never tried that one, I'll smell it. And boom, first spray. Not what I was expecting at all. I didn't know anything about it, I just sprayed it. Ginger, creamy vanilla, a little tiny bit of a really nice coffee, some pipe tobacco. I was expecting some generic designer uh, release, some blue, something, you know, some woody, spicy, generic kind of scent. This smells great. Uh, there was a little synthetic alcohol kind of smell at the top, but when I first sprayed this, I, I couldn't believe it. it. It's I would almost say that this is a gourmand, and that it kind of it smells a lot like root beer or ginger beer. Really good ginger. A slight masculine edge to it. Um, these uh, a little bit of leather in there. If I'm looking at the notes, actually, I haven't pulled up right here. I'm like I'm very amazed by this cardamom, some pepper, leather, saffron, nutmeg, pipe tobacco, tonka bean, uh, what they call intense coffee, I think, and uh, woody notes. So there's a little bit of a masculine edge that I'm smelling underneath this, but it smells a lot like a, um, almost like a gourmand and that you could drink it. Um, now I know that this probably smells like a lot of other clones as well. Um, so I'm not saying that this is like, I just discovered a hidden gem or anything. I'm just saying I'm surprised by it. It smells great. It's, it really is a, and it's sweet, but it's not like sticky sweet or anything like that. Um, so these came out last year, I guess I read, and they are intended to be, uh, layerings for Kenneth Cole for him and for her. And they have, uh, let's see, they have serenity, energy, or intensity, which is what this is. So they're meant to be layered with the male or female Kenneth Cole for him or her. Uh, I don't know those colognes. I've never smelled them. These are intended to be uh, unisex because, you know, they are meant to work with either one. Uh, they are EDT concentrations, though. I guess I was kind of expecting EDC if it's to be layered. But the downside is this is kind of light. I really only sprayed this like 15, 20 minutes ago, and it's already very light on my skin. So that's a downside. Um, but, yeah, I'm just pleasantly surprised. It's weird, though. And, again, I might sound like a crazy person ranting because I'm sure that smells like a lot of other stuff. It actually... It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Dolce & Gabbana, the one. I'm not super familiar with that one, but it's reminding me of that. Uh, but um, there's two reviews for this on Fragrantica, which I found weird. Um, it just smells really good. I thought there would be more than two reviews. I mean, there's a, I would expect you know, at least a dozen or so. So I go to YouTube to look, and... I mean, I'm sure there's one or two, you know, uh, videos up there. There's a YouTube video for everything. I, I cannot find any videos talking about this. I, I can find... Sorry, my hair is weird. I can find people talking about Kenneth Cole intensity, Kenneth Cole for him. Uh, or, sorry, Kenneth Cole reaction, sorry. I can't find anybody talking about this. I, I, I don't, I don't want to claim to be the first person to do a video on this, of course. Um, but... I could not find anybody talking about this. So here's my contribution to that. Um, you can definitely smell like tonka bean, adding like a really nice creaminess. I guess there's no vanilla in this, not listed. So maybe that's what I'm smelling is the tonka bean. But at the first spray, it was very creamy and it did smell like vanilla. Um, but yeah, this is great. Um, unfortunately, it seems like it's still very expensive. It's like an $85 um, cologne, but you, you can find it discounted, I checked. Uh, fragrance net does not have this um i found another a couple other websites i don't know that if i would necessarily trust where it's going for like 35 40 50 dollars that's way too much for me but um it seems like it's a little harder to find i did see it on ebay uh you know whatever but um you can seem to find it cheaper than what it's uh what it's currently going for market value which is really expensive but yeah, I just thought I would make this. This is really quick for me. This is just like a little kind of first reaction. Really good. I actually wish I had a full bottle of this. I, I, I would wear this out, especially in this, this colder weather. It would be great, but 
that all I have is the sample. So I, I can't really seem to find a decant of this or anything. If you guys know this one, let me know. Uh, if you haven't smelled it and you have the ability to, go give it a shot. It, it might smell like a lot of things you've smelled before, but at least for me, it was really good. All right, peace out.